Hi, here we are again for another CoolSmartPhone.com look at the Windows Phone 7 OS. Now, we mentioned in our earlier two videos on Windows Phone 7 uh, the multitasking issues. Now, I'll just go over it again. We're just going to go into a Twitter client that everybody will probably know about called Seismic or Seismic, and we're just going to open it up on both phones. The one on the left here is 4.3 inch. HTC HD7, which is available on O2 with a 16 gig onboard storage and 5 megapixel camera. This is a HTC7 Mozart exclusive to Orange with 8 gig onboard storage and 8 megapixel camera. Now, go into my um, Twitter uh, timeline so I can see what everybody's up to. Let's zoom in a little bit for you. And it takes a short while to load all the uh, status updates. So I can see Jason Manford's done this and I can sort of click into his tweet there. Now if I either press back and back again to exit out the app or if I press the Windows flag we kind of still have the same issue with going back into the app and it having to reload everything all over again. Go wait for the splash screen go back into the Twitter spaces, wait for the timeline to load. So that's a little bit annoying. Now we initially presumed, and this is based on several apps we tried, the eBay application, the uh, Tesco groceries application, this application as well, all of which were shown to us during the actual um, testing phase. And we initially assumed that the OS obviously couldn't handle uh, any sort of uh, ability to write the session state to uh, a temporary area. It now appears that that isn't true. Now we've loaded up here the official Twitter app which recently came out. Uh, here it is on both phones, They're slightly different versions I believe. They might look slightly different on uh, both phones but here's a Twitter application and it will load up my uh, timeline. And We'll just give it a few seconds to load that up. And there's my timeline on both phones. A little bit of shine on the light, sorry about that. Now, let's imagine, as we were before, that we're browsing around and we want to do something else. Now, let's go back we're using the Windows flag on the left-hand side and the back key on the right-hand side. Now, if I go back into the official Twitter app on the left-hand side, it loads, you got a little splash screen, but bang, the timeline is there straight away. So it does appear that Windows Phone 7 has the ability for the application to write its uh, session status to the uh, onboard storage. Now why those other two applications don't do that, I believe it's, uh, although Marketplace, the Microsoft Marketplace has some strict rules on how an app should look possibly and how it should feel, obviously the look and feel of these applications is very much in keeping with the uh, OS itself. Uh, I think the actual ability to write um, to a temporary area, I think um, that is there, but it's uh, an optional um, feature. Now, it looks like the official Twitter app has that, so that it means that I can hop out of the Twitter app and I can go back into the Twitter app fairly easily. And it will load up and it will load a cache of all the tweets that I've already had on there. So you can press refresh to refresh if you wish. But initially you get bang, you get the existing information which is great. Now if we go back I will show you the only little foible I've got here now because obviously we're seeing that it was an app problem and not an actual multitasking problem um, that caused us the major amount of grief. But if I go to that uh, Twitter app, press and hold on it, and we get this pop-up menu. Now I want to pin it to the start menu. I'm going to pin it to the start menu. And you can see now we've got our own little Twitter live tile. The same on here, slightly different version again. I think it's pre-installed on the uh, 7 Mozart we've got here. Now, the only problem is from what we've seen, every single application we've loaded in has not got 
a tile that actually moves and also the colours vary quite heavily from uh, the blue, the pale blue so we're a little puzzled to some extent why the background here can only be white or black white or light or dark, whichever you prefer to say because um, these live tiles can be any old colour I mean the seismic one is bright red and the Twitter one is sort of a, a blue so it's kind of, why not just put a border around these tiles I'm nitpicking, so let's just uh, go back and we'll show you a little bit more about the OS now that we've cleared up the multitasking issue really quickly I'm going to take you into the browser on both phones and the browser is a million times better than Windows Mobile 6.5 a million times better here we've got Google Images on the right hand side we've done a search for Lager as you can see I can click on one of those pictures I can do multi-touch I can zoom in like that we can also have tabbed browsing as you can see on the left and I can have a look at our site see what's happening and as it loads up I can double tap and it will expand to fill the screen we've got a very nice analog sort of rotational aspect to the phone uh, when we rotate the screen around we can see that it's very fluid and it's very fast I must say it's probably faster than I'm showing you here it's because the phone's going to flat on the floor and it's getting a little bit confused so that is very quick the keyboard which I'll try and show you uh, is is just stunning I must say if I tap up here and I go to um, type in our site again there's a small sound to the keyboard I'll try and show you that it remembers all the URLs that you've gone to it also suggests URLs if you say for example I've never been to the BBC website on here so I'll try BB and there we go bang straight away BBC homepage so it's suggesting URLs that can be turned on or off if we go in here in the settings we can see let Bing suggest sites as I type so you've got that option on there it's a very good um, browser and as you can see it's remembered where I was here so this is another app that does actually write its session data um, the only by the way I'm just gonna hop back this by the way is the main BBC website is a very busy page it's full of um, very clever HTML and it does kind of have a little bit of stutter when it's browsing around but there's still that lovely sort of bouncy effect there when you get to the corner it's very fluid still uh, you've got your favorites list you can have a look at your favorites that you've saved you can add a favorite very easily you only really get the buttons that you need you don't get any frivolous buttons down the bottom that you don't really need you can always press the three dots and you get more uh, you can find on the page you can share the page press share the page or can share it via uh, messaging or email. If we go back to the main screen, the only foible I've got, uh, the only other problem I've got, I go into my pictures and I find a picture I took today. Let's say one of these, and I want to share that. I press on three dots on the bottom. I can add it to our favourites. I can delete it, upload it to SkyDrive or Microsoft. Uh, online service I can share it use it as a wallpaper or use extras now the extras includes the photo enhancer so I don't see why at this point you can't use the uh, ability to share and doesn't work on either of these handsets so if I find a picture let's have a look that one say I can't share it to my Twitter so I can't upload it that way. I can do it this way through um, Twitter, the, the official Twitter application, and I can load that up. Oops. And I can create a new tweet, and I can press the camera button down here, and I can choose a camera, a, a photo. So there is a way of uploading uh, pictures. It just doesn't seem to be integrated within the photos and uh, videos application. So um, also I'll just quickly show you, um, we've got the Adobe Reader on here, which can obviously read the Adobe documents, no PDF files available. I would like some sort of file viewer because I'm old school, but that doesn't seem to be available. The alarms function is really cool, as I showed you in the uh, review, turn an alarm on or off, or you can press on it, you can choose a time, very nice way of choosing the time there, 
and the actual hour, uh, minute set it you can choose a sound you can press the little preview there's a lot of alerts to choose from same with ringtones as well if I go back to the ringtones have a look at the settings on here on both of these phones uh, I know I'm losing you a little but I just want to show you how fluid the OS is um, scooting around from various bits and bobs if I go into my settings here and here I can choose from the theme as I showed you I think in an earlier video the theme really only allows you to have light or dark background and it only really lets you choose between one of very few accent colors which is the highlights you see here the orange highlights on this one and the blue highlights on this one for O2 and orange now we've also got ringtones uh, we can turn the ringers on or off, the vibrate on or off, we can choose between a ringtone not that easy to change your ringtone and add more, you can't plug it in use it as mass, uh, mass storage and upload an mp3, it's not quite that open unfortunately Microsoft have bolted down the experience quite heftily they've done it for very good reasons but there's certain areas like the backdrop here, I can't change the background I can only change the lock screen background and it's not very easy to change or upload your own uh, ringtone in mp3 format but I can choose between several ringtones here various bits and bobs there and we've also got text message alerts, voicemail alerts, email alerts, appointment reminders whether you want a ring uh, message sound for those we've got Wi-Fi you can set that up um, you can choose whether you want Bluetooth on or off, you can adjust your accounts, this is one of the first screens that you get when you first set up the phone, add an account in, whether it be a POP3, Yahoo email, O2 email, Google email or another sort of account, on here we've got advanced setup and exchange outlook accounts, Windows live accounts as well, um, let me just go back in to, oh there's some applications by the way that I installed last night we've got this one here called Cheeky Monk now from what I've been reading on the web today there's about a thousand applications available in the uh, uh, marketplace I'm going to record something on here hello there this is callsmartphone.com and then you can it's one of these that changes your uh, voice <laughs> so I've pressed the search button on the right hand side if I turn this up a bit You'll be able to hear it this time, hopefully. And that's one application. We've got uh, Call Yourself, which simulates a, an incoming call at a certain time if you want to get out of a meeting. But you can see that all these applications that I've downloaded, um, Magic Ball, let's see, sort of shake, and it shows you the answer to questions. You can see that the all the applications have a very similar look and feel. The, um, the interface sort of remains pretty much the same, even with simple things like uh, stopwatch here. The interface stays pretty much the same. This is a little bit more basic, but you get you know the same sort of buttons on there. Um, you get uh, something here. I think I downloaded uh, train travel. And again, the look and feel of the Windows Phone 7 operating system is maintained throughout this. Let's just skip this intro. And again, we've got the headings, 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 menus, menus, menus. So you know exactly what's going to happen in each application and how it's laid out. Um, we've got other things like the calculator, a nice big calculator. We've got um, also the calendar, which doesn't have a week view, unfortunately. It has a day view and an agenda view. It's a very nice system to use. And we've also got a month view. If I press, I think, on this one and then on this one one of these buttons, there you go, there's a month view but it doesn't have a week view unfortunately, no tasks on this, the tasks have gone out of the window um, the camera application which I showed you earlier, I'm just going to skim over some of these, we'll come back to some of them in future videos um, the phone system, pictures and what we'll do is show you the rest of that in another video because I've already sapped up 15 minutes of your time waffling on about this so um, that's Windows Phone 7 and uh, keep it locked on coolsmartphone.com for a few more videos coming your way.